Okay, so the two coats of the surface layer are on. It's now tacky. You want to get to the point where you can lay, leave a fingerprint, but doesn't stick on your glove. Um, at 75 degrees, which is about in here, is it exactly 75? Um, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes, which is actually pretty fast. The other brands that we were using, they were taking, what was it, like two and a half hours between coats? Yeah. You can't even, so this was five minutes between coats. And then it was a couple more hours before you could actually put the surface layers on. But um, fiberglass stuff, it's been awesome so far. Um, it did, it was a little thicker than the other brands, which was actually really nice because I got a really thick, even-ish layer around all this stuff. Using the spreader definitely helped. You couldn't really use the spreader in like all the like really intricate areas. So I probably uh, laid it on even thicker, but that's fine. When you're capturing these small details, having a little bit of extra resin in there will make your mold a little stronger, which means that it's not gonna like crack off or something like that when you're taking it and like demolding it. So all good stuff. I'm really impressed with this product so far. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into cutting some 3K carbon, and then we're gonna do the 3000 um, series high temp epoxy and back this with a layer of 3k and then we're going to back it with two more layers of 12k and I'm hoping that should be a good medium like middle ground if we take this off and the mold seems a little too flexible I might just add another 12k on on top of that and make it four layers total but for right now I'm going to start with 3k the reason we start with 3k is we'll get some more of the details it'll get into all these creases a little better than 12k will because um, we're not vacuum bagging this mold. You could if it was really super detailed, but we're gonna hand lay it up, 3K, two layers of 12K. So now that we're on to laying the carbon up, we're going to start with our system 3000 high temp epoxy. Um, and this gets mixed at a weight ratio of 100 to 18, which is slightly different than the surface coat. Um, and this is a 120 minute epoxy cure, so we'll have plenty of time. Um, a lot of the 2000 stuff that we've been using, we use the 60 minutes, so this is literally twice as long. That's so heavy. I might have to judge this. We've got all three layers of our carbon on here with the 3000 high temp epoxy. Now we just need to let this sit overnight, pop it off, and then we need to throw it in our oven, 
to post cure. 